acoustic guitar part something picking patterns something this will be my uh, picking patterns chord progressions and the log themes of my guitar meditation number 30 something two I <laughs> think whatever video is right before this one um so again just trying to play my guitar keeping it going but the first kind of new chord we have here it's the same shape as before when, that we've used before it's the B flat but the major major theme, well, it's getting used a bunch of scales, but I really just want to watch a Rick Rick Beato, I think it's Beato, but one of his videos, he did some song that was using A's and B's, so I just try to make a piece just using A scales and B scales and stuff. So that is an A, or that the first that first chord, this guy right here. That is a B flat seventh suspended fourth, which is the same same exact shape from the E flat seventh suspended fourth that we used a couple pieces ago. So again, just another four note chord on the on the, you know on the edge of your guitar. You can slide it up any down any position, and you're gonna get another chord. That's also going to be a seventh suspended fourth. So we use that initially right after that because of the pinky positioning. I climb out of that in the A, A sharp major scale. Right on our, our low E string, here's our A note, up one, that's sharp, then just the major pattern. So I really just, I did like the sound of the B flat, seventh suspended fourth, and then climbed out into the A sharp. And then we have some two other chords. I'm not sure which one's which. But we have an, we have an A major seventh, an A dominant seventh, I think. I also have A seventh suspended fourth written down, so I'm not sure. I think this is A dominant seventh. Our voicing of it, and that's literally just your your second finger, your 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 middle finger on the second fret of the D string and your ring finger on the second fret of the B string. And then you're playing all the chords besides the low E. And then I think that's the A dominant seventh. Doesn't really matter. And then I just put my index finger down on the G string of the first fret and you get a different A chord. So that's what I use there. Again, I resolve into A major and A minor. A minor we've played a thousand times. A minor seventh. Can't get a good sound of that right now, I'm not sure why. That's why you play that all the time. I guess that's just how the note sounds up there. <laughs> so again then we also did some some noodling, some riffs in the the A minor scale. I'm taking this that note from the A minor scale and just sliding it up and down into different scales and then resolving it back into A minor. A minor. Then I use the just your your, bar, your standard bar chord for B major. There's no, for at least from what I could tell from my my guitar chord bible, there wasn't any easy ways to play B major uh, in first position. So just bar it and do it on the 8th, or on the on the 7th. Yeah. So that's what I did. The picking pattern's pretty simple. Again, same thing throughout. Again, B major chord. Triples on the first, two strokes down, and then triple, do that all the way down for any, 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 any note of the chord, and then work your way back up and just kind of mix it up when you can.
Any other ideas? No, I really just wanted to try to write a piece in A and B just because I saw it on the on the YouTubes. So hope you learned something, hope you got some ideas. I really did like the sound of the, the B flat seventh suspended fourth, even more so than the E flat seventh suspended fourth. <laughs> chord again you just slide it up and down try out different keys so hope you learned something hope you got some ideas or not <laughs> thank you for watching guitar p practice learning the acoustic guitar something part something go practice use your metronome thanks for watching